What toxic behavior has been normalized by society? Blaming your asshole behavior on A lack of caffeine The phases of the moon or the alignment of the planets or stars People willingly sacrifice all aspects of their privacy for irrelevant and anonymous attention Human trash becoming the standard of famous YouTube celebrities Posting photos and videos of kids being pranked or humiliated in the hopes it'll go viral. Using your kids to shore up your own online presence in any way besides sharing updates with close friends and family. EX that mommy blogger who refused to stop writing about her daughter even when the daughter directly asked her not to. The kids have no say in how their images and lives are being used. It violates their privacy and opens them up to further humiliation later on in life. Yet it keeps happening. ETA, my first Reddit silver and gold. Thank you. I promise to absolutely let this go to my head, title of my sex tape. Binge drinking, in my line of work it's welcomed. However it just leads to mental and physical health problems. Edit, spelling edit number 2, thanks for the silver. Raising children as a prince or princess with no preparation for real life. My nephew had tons of Christmas presents, but at dinner he didn't win one of the two crackers he pulled. He complained, then whinged, then started to cry until his grand gave him her cracker. He's gonna be a real pleasure to deal with when he's older. Oh fun. This Christmas, my niece whined why did you get this for me? It wasn't on my Christmas list. Every time there were gifts she didn't want. Her dad is deadbeat and mom is crazy so she spends a ton of time with grandma and grandpa who try to make up for it by waiting on her hand and foot. She gets anything and everything she wants immediately. So glad I live three-fourths of the way across the country. Blindly following what is perceived to be a popular opinion. People don't think for themselves near as much as they should. There is no harm in taking a minute to research the accuracy of something before stating your opinion on it. These so-called prankers who are trying to make videos for amusement. Most of the time all set up and all people involved are aware and playing along, but the few that happen to the general public can cause major problems. Imagine if it's you just sitting there getting for work and a bucket of water dumped in your head? Or at a function with family slash friends and food dumped all over you? Just for laughs? I really like the just for laughs videos. Pretty much all of their pranks are harmless and just tend to put the victim in a bizarre situation e.g. seeing a dog driving off in a car, making it seem like a guy was just in a dressing room with another woman, having them help them press a button only to lower a worker into a river, etc. At the end of the video it shows the hosts pointing at the hidden cameras and everybody laughing. The expectation that employees should be constantly reachable even outside of work hours or during paid or unpaid time off. It effectively creates a situation where you are on call 24-7. Edit, holy cow, I didn't expect so many people to feel as strongly as I do about this. Thanks for the gold and silver. Now go turn off your cell phones and have a nice Sunday afternoon if you can. Overworking is so romanticized in TV slash movies it paints being dedicated to your job as a quirk and late nights in the office as full of camaraderie. The reality is you're not having beers and pizzas with your buds having genius moments of clarity you're under fluorescent lights, mostly alone in an office building at 11 p.m. exhausted, stressed and missing out on time with your loved ones for a place that sees you as just another number. Not that I'm bitter and overworked or anything. The immediacy of an answer. Everyone wants it, with it being what they ordered, a message being sent. Right away. An immediate answer. I get that with technology and such it's easier, but if people can calm down, certain things still take time. Patience. Airing your dirty laundry to the world via social media. If you and your spouse have an argument, work it out amongst the two of you. The whole world doesn't need to know your marital drama. This is the main reason I stay off of Facebook. Casual waste. The I'm just gonna toss it mentality. There are many things you never needed to use in the first place, 
and many trash items that can be donated or recycled.